A marvel of human technology, the history of photography is deep, thorough, and fascinating. We could write volumes about this history, but a few key incidents helped to make photography into the approachable, creative, and enormously common activity it is today. The details of these important anniversaries are provided here. In the relatively brief history of photography, much progress has been made. The camera has changed dramatically in the past nearly 200 years, going from a simple box that took fuzzy pictures to the high-tech microcomputers seen in today's DSLRs and smartphones. When Joseph Nikifor Niepce, pronounced Nieps, took the first photograph in 1822, photography was officially invented. Sadly, Niepce's earliest works have been lost to time, but his 1826 image still holds the record for the oldest surviving photograph. His method involved taking pictures with a camera obscura and projecting them onto pewter plates with bitumen coatings. Due to the material's low light sensitivity, exposures frequently took hours. Niepce teamed up with another creator and innovator, Louis Daguerre, in 1829 to further photography. Daguerre continued his research after Niepce passed away, and his efforts led to the creation of the daguerreotype, which was first displayed to the general public in 1839. Robert Cornelius created the first self-portrait in that same year, and daguerreotype portrait studios quickly gained popularity. Wet plate photography became the dominant technique after the invention of the collodion process in 1851, thanks to substantially shorter exposure times and more mobile darkrooms. Glass and thin sheets of iron were the most common materials for the wet plate process to be utilized on. In addition to being extremely volatile and time-sensitive, the collodion process was regrettably also. Inflammable photosensitive chemicals were applied to a plate by photographers, who then had just minutes to capture the picture, develop it, and take it. Richard Maddox created a brand new method with dry plates in 1871. The tricky and frequently dangerous procedure of coating your own photographic plates was eliminated by dry plates, which also provided photographers much more flexibility. Unexposed dry plates could be kept until use, unlike wet plates, and exposed dry plates didn't need to be developed right away. Prior to the development of film, this method was utilized and improved for a while. Flexible film was created in the 1880s by George Eastman's Kodak firm. As a result, the Kodak, the first film camera, was created. It could take up to 100 pictures before the film needed to be replaced. It was a straightforward camera with a single shutter speed and a fixed lens, but it opened up photography to a larger audience than before. Oscar Barnack developed a prototype for a small format 35mm camera in 1913, and in 1925 the Leica version of the concept went into production. Due to its ubiquity, 35mm film is the preferred medium for expensive cameras. Edwin Land, the creator of Polaroid, presented the first instant camera in 1947 in New York City to the Optical Society of America. The instant camera became widely accessible in department stores a year later. While most photography styles favored color film, instant cameras could only use black and white film until 1963. The first color images were hand-colored daguerreotypes and tintypes. The autochrome process, invented by brothers Auguste and Louise Lumiere, eventually took the place of this method in 1907. However, in order to see these images, one needed to project them or use a black light. Color film was created when Kodak debuted Kodachrome in 1935. The development of color film made it possible to observe the world in a way that had never been possible before. The first color photographs to be displayed at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City were those taken by photographer Elliot Porter using color film to create spectacular shots of birds in 1943. Compact cameras with self-configuring image control were first developed in the late 1970s and early 1980s. These point-and-shoot cameras performed the calculations for the focus, aperture, and shutter speed, freeing the photographer to focus on the composition. The automatic cameras quickly gained enormous popularity among amateur photographers. Both professionals and serious amateurs continued to enjoy having complete control over their images and preferred to make their own modifications. 
Digital photography and the creation of the digital camera are credited to Stephen Sasson. He started working at Kodak in 1973, and two years later, when he was 24 years old, he created the digital camera. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our videos.